Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's Saturday and I'm starting the vlog today. I just got home. I was at my niece's last night, Sarah, and we had a good time with her mom, myself. We went up to Amish country, stick around to the end. I have some outdoor video for you. I don't typically, you know, film the Amish or the Mennonite. It's not their thing. There's lots of, you know, a respect thing, but outdoors I can video. Hi, buddy. And um, the cats are glad that I'm home. We did some shopping and I did mention I have a trip upcoming here in a couple weeks. I'm going to be backpacking in the woods. So we picked up a few things and I had some Amazon order to show you because I don't even know what's in it. I know what I've ordered. I don't know what's been delivered and I'm expecting another package today. But I want to show you, I, I'm throwing things. I bought this. It is a metal can koozie. I drink, um, it's an alcohol drink. It's very low alcohol, but it's keto friendly. It's called Crooked Marker and they come in the tall skinny cans and it's just a flavored like, it's called a beer, but it's more like I would say a carbonated wine cooler. But um, this will keep them cold. I got this at Target for $10. So you put your can in and then this rubber thing just holds it in place and this metal keeps it cold. And it's from Zach brand. But if you also drink like the Cokes that come in the tall skinny cans or White Claw or any of those beverages that come in tall and skinny, my niece says this will keep my beverage cold. So I grabbed one of those at the Target. Then we went to a store, it's called Gabriel Brothers or Gabe's. It's here, I don't know where they're at. I know there's one in Zanesville and there's one here in Columbus. I'm not sure if it's a chain or whatever, but um, one of the things that I need for my trip is wool socks. Now, not wool like as in keep me warm wool, but like they're called smart wool or it's a, it's called smart wool. And what it is, is it's antimicrobial. So it's better than a cotton sock. They dry faster. They don't make your feet smell and they help prevent blisters. So I ordered a pair, $17 for this pair of socks, but I don't want blisters. So I bought them. But then I was like, oh, I need maybe a secondary pair to have in case my feet get wet or whatever. But I wanted to look around before I bought them. So I did get a pair called Darn Tough. I know they're being shipped to me. I don't think they're in this order though. Um, and they have a lifetime guarantee. So if I make a hole in those from wearing them, they will replace them. So I'm, you know, it's an investment. But anyway, so we were at Gabe's and I said to Sarah, look for, we need to look for some Darn Tough socks or some wool socks. Because I do know they sell them at TJ Maxx. I actually saw two pair, but they only one was a kid size and one was uh, knee socks, neither of which I needed. Anywho, so I was at there and she's like, you're not going to find them here. I'm like, probably not, but let's look. Yeah, girl sure did. So I found this brand called UG Upgrade. They were $1.99 a pair. They are made up of 63% wool, 13% spandex, 18% nylon, and 6% rubber. So what they do is they pad your feet, and again, they help prevent blistering. So they had one medium and two large, so I'm like, well, I'll just buy them all. Here's what I don't understand, and there's no indicator on gender. So um, this is the medium. Guys, look how much bigger it is. I have no idea, but they're too big for me to wear um, inside shoes because they would slide around and I will get blisters from that. And they're a little thicker, but I can totally sleep in these and they will keep my feet warm and they're nice and padded. So I'll bring these for sleeping. And then I got two pair of these, which are a little thinner, but they do have the padded bottom. I'm gonna, they do have seams. So what I'm gonna do is wear them when I get my shoes that are being delivered um, and make sure they're gonna work. But for $1.99, even if they just become sleeping socks, it was worth it. Um, so yeah, they have the padding on the bottom. They have this extra elastic around the arch, which helps keep your socks from sliding around and that friction is what causes blisters. Thinner on the top and these are also wool. So I have no idea why the large is smaller than the medium, but whatever. It does say on the side, and maybe somebody just changed the packaging, but I mean, these are medium in the, it says medium, and these are large. And then maybe they're gendered, I don't know. 
on the side it does give you your sizing you know and they do this for a reason because you want them to fit your foot so i grab i grab three pair um i can give my friend jen a pair too if she needs them for backpacking so i grabbed that grab my cup we went to um if you're from here we went to a store called troyer's and it's a market store in Amish country. I love it. I got some pork rinds and I got some chocolate and all kinds of stuff. So we're opening a box here. Again, I, I don't, I know what I ordered that I need for this trip. So here's what's fun about all this. I, I have my backpack. It's behind me. I have hiking poles and I've been backpacking before. So I have most of the stuff, but I needed to replace some things. It's been a few years. But when I bought my glasses, my eye company had a $100 rebate, and that's what I used to purchase this stuff, was my rebate. So there was nothing out of pocket. If I was mailing out a package, I would keep this, but I'm not, so. All right, I see one thing I know. Oh, I know what this is in here. Yay, I'm excited. Okay, so one thing I ordered, mm -hmm is a decent coffee cup. Um, I have a plastic cup for backpacking. It's just not what I would call a good coffee cup. It holds one cup of water. They're lightweight, it's fine. But this thing has a sippy lid. So some people do it in metal, but you can burn your mouth and I'm not about that life. Plus I like to have something to drink hot and eat at the same time. Plus it's a whole hot or cold. It has a little insulating cover on it to no grip slip down here. And then this keeps your drinks hot. It's a little bit of insulation. And then this is the container and it has what I like about it. It holds two cups and it has measurements on the side. So what I can do is measure my water to boil for my dinners or breakfast or whatever, and then put the rest in here and make my coffee in the morning. And it has a lid. So it keeps things from spilling. It has a spout on it and it won't burn my mouth. And I can store my stove in here and it does not weigh a lot. It's just a couple ounces, uh, 3.5 ounces for this whole cup. And I will store my lighter and my stove in here for space saving. So I was excited to purchase that. And I'll go over all this, like before I go, I'll do what I'm taking, but. I'm just showing you what I bought. I know what this is. So part of backpacking, oh, I get stickers too, which is exciting, is you need to have some type of a light source. And I, I don't know where my other headlamp went, but I've lost it. Oh, this is kind of heavy. We'll decide on this one, but it is a little on the heavy side. But, oh, let me turn it off. Um, it's a nice headlamp. I'll try not to blind you here. It goes down and it has different lights. And then I think you hold it and it goes red. And what red does is when you're in camp, it keeps from blinding other people. And it's on an elastic headband piece. It, I mean, I would not go out in the woods with the Dollar Tree one. I'm just gonna say it right now. This is a little on the heavy side though, but I'm sure it'll be fine and it does charge it's rechargeable and it goes down like this right so I can have it down and not blind my friend Jen so and I believe it has a 14 or a 20 hour charge oh wow and it comes with two charging cables which is nice for it um, I'll pack one of the charging cables and then it comes with the directions which it's a lamp. I'm not sure what directions I need, but it just tells you how to open it, how to charge it. Um, if it's on high, it will last for five hours. On low, 10 hours. The red light will last for 40 hours and the SOS will last for 25 hours. And that's the blinky light. But I'm bringing a charging brick with me. Plus we won't be up five hours each night into the dark, we'll be tired. So yeah. But the one thing is it's a little heavy, but 
you need a light for at night time. So I ordered that because like I said, I'm not exactly sure where my other light source went, my other headlamp. And then this says stop. Oh, it says activate your Foxelli, Foxelli warranty, get free product insurance before using the product for the first time. Free product insurance means that you get a free replacement or full refund if anything goes wrong with the product. So I, I need to go online and activate that before my trip. So I got that and then I have this package here. I'm not sure what's in here, but it's light. Oh, I know what that is and this, okay. So I picked up, uh, this is called Tenacious Tape. These are little patches. I'll probably just bring one or two with me, but they're good for my tent. And they're also good for, I have an air mattress that you blow up and this will fix that if there gets any leaks in it. And this was a four pack and it was like $3, but it says patch holes and tears in tents, jackets and gear instantly with tenacious tape. It's an ultra strong tape that adheres to nylon, vinyl and rubber. And it's peel and stick. It is weather resistant, multi-purpose washable. And I didn't have a repair kit for my pad. So I grabbed one and like I said, I'll just bring like one or two of these with me. I think this comes with four. You get two black and two clear. And that's enough. I'll just throw it in my first aid kit, honestly. And then the other thing I purchased, um, this came in a three pack. But these are going to be with my lunch and they're palm crisps, although like that is pretty crushed up. They really crush them together. But I have a jalapeno, I have a cheddar and a parmesan. And then I'll just throw these in my food bag and I will have these with my lunches and any snacking on the go. But these will be my... Um, with my lunches. So I thought three of these would be perfect. They're not real heavy and they don't take up a lot of space. And my food bag. So I have three things of Parm Crisp that'll just go with my backpacking gear. And I have three things of tuna fish. So that's my three lunches and tuna and Parm Crisps for lunch. And dinner, I'm having shipped to me. I'm expecting a package today. I just don't know exactly where it's at. But it'll be here at some point, And then I'll show you that. All right, I gotta get this stuff out to the trash. I just got home from Sarah's house. Oh, I will show you. I picked this up for my brother at that store as well. He's a big guy. And this is a golf shirt but it has hula dancers on it. And it was only $5 for him. It's a 4X, so that should fit him. Yeah, $4.99. So I picked that up for him. I'll take that tomorrow. And that's everything for right this second. I'm just resting and chilling out. I do have to make a return, though, to Marshall's and decide if I'm keeping this at the weight that it is. Probably. Probably we'll just keep it. I don't know if it opens or what happens in here, but yeah, I'll keep it. It's not that heavy. All right, I'm gonna get some. Good morning, it is Sunday. It is Easter morning. I am making the boys their breakfast. I've had a shower, I'm ready to go. Then I've decided, a little warm water for their food, that I'm gonna go get Dunkin' coffee. I'm coming, baby, I'm coming and um, run one errand, but then I've got housework to do. Because not only is it Easter, it's Sunday, and I work tomorrow, start back to work. So I'm gonna come back, I need to run the vacuum, sweep in my, my kitchen, dining room. Um, Sarah will be here at some point today before noon-ish. And then we're going to my brother, her dad's, the air freshener guy and visit with them. He's the one that had surgery and I keep forgetting to tell you, he's doing really good. It's been about two weeks. Um, he's a little bummed, you know, that it's taking so long to feel better, but, and he had to give up a golf trip, 
life goes on. He's alive. So we're going to go visit them today and see my niece and nephew cat. Um, I think I've showed you before they adopted two kittens, Murray and Mabel. And they're just so cute. We're going to go play with them, pick up my other brother. We're all going to spend a little family time together. Yeah, so that's the plan. Uh, but first, it's coffee time and I'm bringing dessert. We were in Amish country yesterday and I picked up some, or on Friday, Amish fry pies. If you never saw like the hostess pies that are frozen, it's are frozen fried. It's sort of like that, but a hundred times better. And then I got them some Amish sugar cookies for dessert. For tomorrow, they're cooking. I'm just bringing treats that I found up in Amish country. Boys, excuse us. Boys, what do you say? What do you need? <gasps> Ooh, sorry guys, I'm trying to set the camera up. There we go. What do you need? What do you want? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Here you go. <laughs> so they'll have their breakfast. Wellington will only eat about half of it, but that's okay. Alex will finish it, my little piglet. I get just the amount of dust and debris they bring around on my floors. So we'll run our errands and then today we will come back and we're going to sweep and probably mop and get the house cleaned up so I can have a fresh start tomorrow. So let's go get coffee. Here we go. We're making one ounce bags. I think I kept saying two ounces in my Dollar Tree haul, but it's one ounce. And I do have a scale here and just a cup. And I'm just putting them in until we get close to an ounce and they're about a fifth of an ounce or 0.05 of an ounce each. So I know I need like three more, four more there. And it's exactly one ounce. There's about 27 jelly beans to the ounce. And for those who don't watch, you know, my Dollar Tree haul and stuff, I bike ride, I hike, I backpack, I'm outdoors. Being on a ketogenic diet is a little challenging to me um, energy level wise, right? Because Fat and protein, I feel like don't, and I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like they don't produce energy as quick as simple carbs do. Sugar, um, to be specific. Bread, basic simple carbohydrates. So this amount of candy is 25 carbohydrates. So this is a boost for me when I'm out and like when I rode my bike my 25 miles, I hit a wall like nobody's business. And honestly, almost didn't make it back. I mean, I would have made it back, but I was going to have to like stop. I mean, I did, but I didn't have enough calories with me. And I feel like this is something small and lightweight I can just have in my pocket. And if I ever hit that again then I will have them to eat. And they will be, they act very quickly. You know, they act super fast in your system. So this is my plan. We'll see if it works next time I go out and ride my bike, which should be next weekend. And when I go backpacking, if I go hiking on a trail, that's gonna be, and it's typically if I'm exercising more than an hour. These are definitely not going to be foods that I'm going to eat just because. I mean, I'm definitely not going to just pop these open and be like, oh, I need a quick fix. No, these are when I'm out exercising 100%. So I just thought I would show you. And by having them all ready, I just love having grab and go stuff in my cabinet that I can just pack them up and go. And honestly, I couldn't think of a candy not chocolate that had more sugar concentration for a small amount than honestly a jelly bean. I mean, I just feel like these are pure 100% sugar. And that is what I'm gonna need when I'm out riding. So I thought I would share that little bit with you. And if you're wondering, these baggies, I get in the craft section at the dollar store. Um, they're not the best quality, but they do hold the perfect amount. 
for craft storage, but also for like little on the go snackies like these, especially if you have a little one and you're just wanting them to have just a little bit of something. Cause you know how easy it is to open up a bag. Like these jelly bellies are tiny little bags and they're two and a half servings per bag. I don't need two and a half servings. I need one serving. And how do I measure that? I just bag them up. So if you have a little one that, you know, you want to give them a little bit of candy, but you want to be, you know, smart about it or know what you're, they're eating and not just handing them bags. These are perfect for that. Yeah. All right. I'm going to finish up this and then we're going to head to my brother's for Easter. I'm home. I didn't do much videoing at my brother's. Um, I got some of the kitties because they're super cute. They're getting so big. Um, for those of you who are new, my, I'm just wiping down the kitchen. My, I have two brothers that live here near me. Um, Sarah, my niece, her brother, her brother, her dad is Jay. He's the air freshener, Jay. And my other brother's Mike. So Sarah and I went to Jay and his wife Ellen's house today for Easter. And they made a lovely dinner. We got to visit. He's doing much better. He's up and moving around from his surgery. He had pretty major surgery two weeks ago. A hernia. His bowel was wrapped around his stomach. Stoma. He was a mess. But they fixed them all up. And so, yeah, we had a lovely visit. A lovely dinner. I'm home. It's 7 o'clock. Yeah. I made some hibiscus tea, which is just brewed hibiscus. I add a little bit of that crystallized lemon to it and some sweetener. It's delicious. Um, I finished packing up my jelly beans and I got my meals in the mail. I took my nails off too. They were annoying me and I'm going to be digging in the dirt this week, so I took them off. But um, So backpacking food came in the mail. I only am buying dinners. I will pack breakfasts and lunches, but for dinner, I figured I'd want a hot meal. So I ordered, this is from Packet Gourmet. This is All American Burger, oh, All American Works Burger. This whole package is one serving and it only has six carbohydrates. There is a package with uh, tomato, cheddar cheese, sliced onions, and then there's I think ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, or something packet. So you open it up, you take out the packets. I put two ounces of hot water in here. I zip it shut and let it sit for 15 minutes. And it rehydrates the ground beef and it makes a dinner on the trail. So I grabbed this one and then I picked up deli smoked roast beef. Now both of these are designed to be eaten with tortilla wraps, but I probably won't do that. Um, this one has seven carbohydrates. It is dehydrated roast beef. Um, it is seasoned roast beef dices with leaf spinach, tomatoes, sweet onions, mayonnaise, and mustard to make a sandwich, but I'll just eat it plain. I may bring pork rinds along if they're pretty light and easy. These packages are good if they're best used by August of 2022, but I'll be using them in two weeks. So I ordered these from this company called Packet Gourmet. These are the two that I could find that were low carb. Now, most backpackers aren't looking for low carb food, but I am. So grab those, they came in the mail today. And also I purchased from the Amazon dehydrated heavy cream for my coffee. So I am bringing, because I'm, I'm not, not having coffee. So I got these hazelnut instant coffee pouches. They're not bad at all. This is Taster's Choice. Um, each of these is an eight ounce cup. I'll bring my sweetener and then I got dehydrated cream, powdered cream. So it's not like Cremora. Like the creamers that you buy in the store have sometimes they have flavor, but they definitely have chemicals, sugars, weird oils. I'm not, I don't want to bring that. So I just got dehydrated cream. That's all it is. It's heavy cream that they took the moisture out of. And then I rehydrate it and it, I tried it tonight and it works good. So I'll bring several, probably if I had to guess, I'll pack two for the morning and one for the evening or later in the afternoon, depending if I feel like coffee, they weigh nothing. So I'm not worried about that. And then 
I think lunches I'll bring tuna fish and cheese wisps and then breakfast I think I'm just going to bring some of my keto rolls and peanut butter I'll call it meals so that my friends is everything Stick around to the end. I have some video from Amish country and some cats. The little cute kitties. All right, guys. Well, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. If you don't celebrate, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I sure did. It was fantastic. A lot of time with family. It's things are starting to feel a little normal. Today is Monday. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I get my second vaccine. And that makes me happy as well. So I can then go see some more of my family. All right, everybody, you have a good one. And I will talk with you later. Bye.